Fact number 1. Joseph was the birth name of Barnabas. Joseph means, may, God, add, and brings to mind the better known biblical character by the same name in Genesis, specifically, chapters 37, 39 to 50. Barnabas, like his Old Testament counterpart, wholeheartedly lived for God and sacrificially served his people. Fact number 2. The name, Barnabas, Acts 4.36, was given by the apostles and could mean either, son of encouragement or, son of exhortation. This fact spotlights his aptitude for offering consolation, to his fellow believers in times of affliction, and his giftedness in teaching others, the truths of the gospel. Fact number 3. Barnabas was a Jew of the dispersion, which refers to those forced out of Israel, after various foreign conquests. His Levite heritage meant he knew the Mosaic law. Furthermore, Barnabas probably spoke Greek and was familiar with Gentile life and Hellenistic Judaism. The latter refers to religious customs practiced by Jews who spoke Greek and observed Greek culture. Fact number 4. Barnabas possessed exceptional spiritual qualities. In particular, his life was under the control of the Spirit, and Barnabas had an unshakable confidence in God. Moreover, Barnabas had the understanding and affirming nature required for making an honest appraisal of the flourishing church ministry at Syrian Antioch, 1122 and 24. This was the third largest city in the Roman Empire, after Rome and Alexandria. Fact number 5. Barnabas encouraged Saul to become a missionary leader. Indeed, the great spiritual awakening occurring at Syrian Antioch provided Barnabas an opportunity to contact Saul, who was ministering at his hometown of Tarsus. Barnabas was even humble enough to step aside when it became evident to him that Saul was the best person to lead the church in the new mission to the Gentiles, Acts. 25 to 26. If you know more about Barnabas, please do comment us. Thank you.